Hey. Depression be building the flesh and the spirit be battling. I gotta stay awake. Can't lose my faith, cause that's all that I gotta be sending. It's time that I change my ways. Repentance is all on my mind. I gotta stay righteous. I'm taking it day to day. Stay strong in the battle. I fight. I wanna do right. Ain't no time to play it safe. I put on that armor, God. Commandments gon' keep me alive. We fighting them demons. My spirit on defense. I do what I do to survive. I took some wins and some losses. I know God don't walk this. Repent or I die. Kingdom stay all on my mind. Stay in them scriptures. I've been on the ground. Uh, yeah, how will be taking me further? Kill off the old man. Come, man. You believe in God? Of course. You believe in the Bible? He said, of course. Of course. As if we don't believe in God no more. So, oh, you wow. believe in the Bible? Of course. Not, not, well, not everything in the Bible. Okay, what do you mean, not everything? I can't believe everything. Because, what do you mean? Because I feel like there's a man around the road. Okay. Okay, let's, let's say this. All right? We'll come with you this, right? If man did write the Bible, what's wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that. I don't understand. You said you don't believe everything because you said man wrote the Bible. Yeah, but you can't believe you. Would you believe everything that a man said? No, I wouldn't. But I would, I would uh, fact check it. If it's supported with other things, of course I would believe it. Okay. Right? Everybody has their own belief, right? Huh? Everybody has their own belief, right? Yeah, but I don't care about everyone's belief. I don't okay. care about these people right here. That's what I care about. And these people right here, if they don't believe in the Bible, then there's a problem. Every person on this list, if they don't believe in the Bible, then there's a problem. Because this Bible is written for these people. So-called Jamaicans, Trinidadian, Guyana, Haiti, Dominica, African Americans. Because we're the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. You know what I mean? Now, I know you from the, I know you from the Yad, right? Probably from Florida or Matango Bay, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> but when you go into the Bible, did you know Jamaicans are in the Bible? Jamaicans? Yes. As in the people are the island. Huh? The people are the island. Come on, who came first? The people or the island? The people. The people are in the Bible, right? Because what happened to Jamaicans? Jamaicans came to Jamaica like this, right? As a slave? Yeah, yeah slaves. Yeah. But the question is, why did they go to slavery like this? No problem, I'll show you. Deuteronomy 28. Let's see before in the Bible. That's a good question, man. Why? Deuteronomy 28. Let's get 28 verse 15. Straight to 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass, read on. If thou wilt not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It's going to happen that we're not going to listen to the word of God anymore. Now, remember when you said, I asked you, do you believe in God? You said, of course. Now, is that, if I ask three more people, are they going to say the same thing? They might not, right? Because a lot of our people don't believe in God. And a lot of our people say they do, but they don't do it according to this Bible. The Bible says you can't be no body boy. Is there a body boy today? There you go. So if that man says he believes in the Bible and he's a body boy, does he really believe in the Bible? No. No, give the brother a hand. He doesn't. He's what we call a liar, man. And a lot of these places, like the Christian church, the Catholic church, they've lied to us. They haven't been teaching us the Bible. They haven't been teaching us the real Jesus Christ because that's not Christ. Christ is like you. You look like him. He look like us. Right. Right? Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, you're not listening to the voice of the Lord thy God, read on. To observe, to do all its commandments and its statutes. No, just say you love him. And his statutes. No, just say he, he knows my heart. And his statutes. He said you have to observe and keep his commandments and his statutes. Now, do so called Jamaicans as a whole. Do they keep God's commandments? No. Asians? No. African Americans? No. Hispanics? Latinos? No. That's the reason why we came here on this. We came to America as slaves because God did this to us. Right? You think the white man could have done this to us? We're stronger, faster, and we're better than them. So how were they able to take us and make us slaves? Make us worship their God. How did that happen? Because God allowed that to happen. Because right. he disobeyed him. Read. 
and his statue. Come on. To command thee this day. Come on. The, all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. All these who? All, all these, these curses. curses. All these curses. Now, brother, I never got your name. What's your name, brother? Ryan. Ryan? Brother Ryan. I thought you were Delroy. Brother Ryan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> brother Ryan. I'm looking at Delmar. Huh? <laughs> You know, every, every 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 brother I know from the yard, they be they be a Delroy or something like that. So, no, a question. Now, when it comes to the commandments, right? It says if we don't keep it, we'll be cursed. Now, look at black people today. Are we cursed? How so? Still living in poverty. Living in poverty. We're living in poverty, but not only that, we have to go to these people for everything. When it comes to our food, our clothing, when we want a nice car to show off when we go out at night, we, we have to go to them for their cars. Oh right? God. Read on. All these curses watch out, watch out. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. They're going to overtake us. They're going to feel like we're drowning in curses. Read on. Curse shalt thou be in the city. What it say? Curse shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shall we be in the city, read on. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And cursed shall we be in the field. We was cursed in the field. That's why we had our back broken in, our legs broken in, our will, our spirit to fight has been broken in. Black people don't want to fight for nothing no more. Let a black man die today. Ain't nobody gonna do anything. They're gonna still go to Lalo's tomorrow. Right. Would it happen? Yes, because they broken us. But God is trying to call us today, in these last days, to bring us out of that. You know what I mean? Did you see what happened in uh, Alabama? You saw what happened in Alabama? You didn't see that? The Alabama brawl? So it was basically, these white people, they were parking somewhere where they shouldn't be parking. This black brother, he was a security guard, and he was trying to tell them, yo, you gotta move your stuff, you, gotta, you can't park here. And they tried to fight that brother. Four, I think it was four white people, white, white people yeah. tried to jump one black man. You know what happened? Every black person in the area jumped in to jump those white people, man. That right there, that's the spirit of God, man. Right. Because for a long time, we haven't had that spirit. A long time, if a white man wants to fight us, it's he was abuse us, no one cares, man. Right, read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Let's see according to the Bible, man. The Lord said the children of Israel are going to be cursed. Now, I'm going to show you a curse. You tell me if it fits you. Yo, sis, come over here real quick. Come here. Come here real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Where are you from? Are you from the yard too? You from Jamaica? I knew it. There you go. He's like my brother from Jamaica too. Now, what I'm showing him right now is that Jamaicans are in the Bible. And the Lord said to our people, which are on this sign, he said that if we broke God's commandments, we'll go to slavery, which happened to us. Now I'm gonna show you. Step out. Oh, I found the card back. There you go. Go ahead, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 47. Bring it out. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. We don't serve the Lord God with joyfulness. A lot of people want to say, oh, come here, come hear the word of God. Oh, no, I don't have time for that. Uh, tomorrow. Or something like that. Read on. And with gladness of heart. What it say? And, and with gladness, gladness of heart. Come on. For the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. What shall we do? Serve thine enemies. enemies. Now, we serve our enemies. Do you agree with that? How do we serve our enemies? Who, who, is, who is black people's enemies today? Who is our enemy? Huh? Give us a stay here. Okay. Why? Huh? Well, I, I'll make it simple. Why? Why? Because, one, they kill us, they rape us, they rob us, they put us in a prison, they set up a, a system here in America so that you would be forced to have to, what, do my, a fan, oh, my, my fans only, only account? Fans. Only fans. <laughs> only fan account, right? But the reason why you have to do that is because they don't give you jobs that's going to offer you enough money so you can have the means to take care of yourself. So you have to go do stuff like that. But they want you to go do it. Show your body off, and then what happens? Some stranger sees your account, now he starts stalking you. Now you end up dead. No one can find you. 
That's what happened here in America, right? But that's set up here by our enemies, the so-called white men. Read it. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Serve our enemies, read on. Which the Lord shall set against thee in hunger. In what? In, in hunger. hunger. So the Bible says if we're hungry, we're going to have to go to our enemies, right? Now, when you're hungry, where do you go? Thank you. 
year in that. Over 613 commandments. Now, would you be willing to keep those commandments? All of them. Because you love them. Yes, give us a second hand.
what we came out here to do. We came out here to teach our people who they are and what they need to do, man. We came out here to teach our people that they are the children of Israel and they gotta keep these laws. That's right. Otherwise, we've been doing everything else and it hasn't been working for us. So how about we keep God's laws, man? Keep God's laws. What are you doing? You live so soon. I ain't even seen you. I'm leaving. Huh? I'm leaving. Let's go up brother. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta move in the spirit.